Hey guys, Trevor here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Chrome extensions that I use in my browser and uh, what they are and yeah, how you can use them too to fuel your e-commerce business. So let's check it out. I got a bunch of them up here, so it's going to take a little bit of time, but let's do it. Uh, number one is this eyedropper tool called Colorzilla. The point of Colorzilla is to grab colors from any part of a page. This comes in handy when you're trying to do logo design or anything like that because if you want to model a competitor's logo design, it's great to take their exact color because this kind of red that Google has is different than most types of red. This type of green is different from a lot of green. This type of blue is different from a lot of blue. So um, you can take the exact color just by hovering over it, clicking it, and it copies the color code and you can give that to your designer. Um, you can also use this for setting the um, colors on your website, on your Shopify theme or something like that. You just take the color and then you can use that color to set the rest of the theme across your theme to that same color as your logo. So that's what I use that for. Next one is Grammarly. Grammarly is really cool because um, when you're doing content marketing, it's really good that obviously your grammar is correct. You have commas and punctuations. Um, things are capitalized correctly, so on and so forth. So um, you can check for writing suggestions on google.com here. Um, show definitions and synonyms via double clicks on all site. You can turn that on if you want. You can make uh, you can sign up for Grammarly Premium, by the way, which I actually have. And if you want to get my referral link to sign up yourself, it's ecommerceparadise.com slash Grammarly. I'll put that in the description below. Um, but yeah, so basically you'll have your own back end of Grammarly, which you can create documents in and stuff like that. Um, now it's really cool. You can actually hook up Google Documents with um, the uh, Grammarly plugin. So in your Google Docs, you'll be able to actually edit uh, directly within there on Grammarly now. So Grammarly is really cool. Um, it's really great if you use like outsourced freelancers for writing and stuff too, because then you can easily um, check their grammar before you publish an article. Um, yeah, so there you go. Let's see what's next. Image downloader. <laughs> this one comes in handy like crazy. I'll give you an example. I used to sell road bikes online. Um, this was my supplier and my competitor, but my supplier's website, roadbikeoutlet.com. And I used to uh, basically just take a product listing that they had. And uh, in order to make a product listing on my site, I would have to download all the images of that product to my site. And they only have one of this one, so that's not a good example. But uh, let's look at one where they have a bunch of images, probably on this one right here. Are they best selling of all time? Yeah, so they have a bunch of images, right? You can see here on the bottom left. It was there for a second. Anyways, if I click the sideways, thing it'll take you to the other images but, um, here on this drop down menu what's going on with their website it's really slow so let's just say they have a bunch of images of their product anyways so I would would normally have to copy or yeah so you can kind of see them there, there for a second um, you normally have to save every single image one at a time and then upload it to your site so instead of having to do that you just click image downloader here and you check only images from links and then it'll let you download all 41 images. So let's just say Volano Rampage. You can save a folder on your computer, select all 41 images, select any that you don't need, or unselect any that you don't need. And then it'll instantly download all the images right away. Um, like this one, it didn't even make a folder this time, I don't know why, but uh, anyways, normally it would make a folder and it will, it'll instantly download 41 images, right? And even more. It's so like, for instance, you can go through your Instagram feed and scroll all the way to the bottom and download, instantly download all of your images from Instagram. So it's a really cool, um, simple piece of software. It's called Image Downloader. And by the way, any of these, you'll be able to search on the Chrome Store, Google Chrome Store. So, so if you go to like Google Chrome Store, um, chrome.google.com is where you'll find all of these. It's really easy. All right, the next one is called Shopify FD. Now, Shopify FD is an interesting one. Um, let me load up uh, e-commerce paradise really quick, and I'll show you what that looks like. <clears throat> so basically, in any Shopify store, what you'll have the ability to do with Shopify FD is you'll be able to add functionality to the product creation page. So this isn't an actual dropship store of ours. This is the Shopify backend for the for my business, e-commerce paradise for the channel you're looking at. I actually use Shopify to run this stuff. Um, so let's just use an example: conversion optimization coaching uh, product. So what I would do is I would click Shopify FD, 
and I would, and it will load. And what you'll see is you can create all sorts of interesting things here. Um, you can view the JSON, you can create meta fields. I, honestly, I don't even know what that is. I should learn how to, what that is and what it does. Um, sitemap, add meta field to remove this product from the sitemap. Um, purge HTML, clean HTML, removes HTML attributes except for target class, href and src. Uh, backup, save contents as meta field images, autosave. Let's see what else does it do. It gives you the ability to maybe add more images here. I'm not sure. Oh, one of the coolest things is if you have like 50 product images and you want to remove them all and like do something new or something, like let's just say the product got updated, you don't have to remove them one at a time. You can just click remove all images right here and it'll remove it. So it's pretty cool. Um, same for the remove tags button. Yeah. So it adds a little bit of functionality to the product page, which is really cool. And I'm sure it does more stuff now. I used to use this back in the day. I don't use it a whole lot anymore, but it sure is cool. So that's another one. Drop of AFD. Look at the next one. Next one is called Ebates. Um, Ebates is really, really cool because if you do shopping online, like if you buy flights or hotels online, um, if you shop anywhere online, basically, <clears throat> if you have the Ebates thing installed, you'll be able to get cash back. And if you're interested in signing up for Ebates, I have a referral code, ecommerceparadise.com slash Ebates. I'll put the link in the description below. So um, Ebates gives you the ability to get cash back at all these different places. Um, and basically the business model behind Ebates is an affiliate marketing company that, you know, they get a certain percentage of their affiliate commission for their affiliate commission. Like let's just say at QVC, they might get 5% cash back or 4% or 3%. And then they give you 1% of that. So they give you like a, a percentage of their affiliate thing, right? And can they, yeah, whatever. So that's how it works. Um, let's look at the next one. SEO quick. This is a cool plugin for SEO stuff. Um, SEO Quick will tell you all the data about any particular website. And let's just say you searched a niche online like electric bikes. I like to use this because I used to sell in this niche and I'm actually going to be starting to sell in this niche again soon. So, um, If you look at any one of the websites, you'll be able to see right away what their um, different rankings are across Google. Um, and if you click any one of them, it'll pull up the SEM Rush website which is a really cool tool and we'll tell you more about it. So you can see what any one of these websites uh, backlinks are and stuff like that. You gotta register for an account looks like to get access to that, which is fine. So SEO Quick is a cool tool. Um, this next one is the Google Tag Manager or Google Tag Assistant. So basically if you're using any like Google Ads or Google Merchant Center or Google Analytics, um, you wanna make sure the Google Tag is on your website, uh, recording clicks and recording conversions and stuff like that, so this is how you do it. All right, this one here is called the Vimeo uh, Repeat and Speed. It gives you a little bit more options when it comes to watching Vimeo videos. So I don't really know how to find a Vimeo one right away, but like if people have removed functionality on a particular video, then you can just click it. Um, and it'll give you the ability to um, repeat and change the speed. So like, let's just say you're watching an online course, for instance, and it's really boring and slow. And this is the reason why I got it is because then you can change it to 1.25 or 1.5 or even 2x if it's really boring and slow um, and speed through what they're saying in the Vimeo video. And normally they don't have that function, so it's kind of cool. All right, this one is the Facebook Pixel Helper. Uh, it's for, you know, help with your pixels. So it'll actually give you the ability to see what pixels are firing on your website, what pixels are firing on other people's websites. Um, get a lot of data there. All right, this next one is TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is really cool. I have a referral code for TubeBuddy. Um, it's ecommerceparadise.com slash TubeBuddy. So if you're interested, uh, click the link in the description. And um, this is great for optimizing your YouTube videos to get more clicks and more um, view throughs and all that good stuff. So um, it'll give you tons of data on your YouTube videos. It's free to sign up. And I highly recommend it because it gives you a lot of automated things that you can plug in and start making money with. Okay, TubeBuddy's cool. This next one's even cooler, in my opinion. It's called Award Wallet. Award Wallet is just like Mint, but it's for credit card cashback rewards. So I have a referral thing at ecommerceparadise.com slash award wallet. Um, you can create your free account. You can basically just plug in your reward programs and credit card with rewards, and it'll track it all in one 
dashboard, which is really cool. And it'll give you notifications when you've gotten rewards and stuff like that. So speaking of which, I need to actually match, meet the minimum spend on one of my new credit cards so I can get, I think it was 60,000 Delta points or something like that. I currently have, you know, over 100,000 IHG reward points and a free night. I have, I don't know, 60,000 or 40,000 uh, Hilton points left. And I got a bunch of airline rewards. So usually, like, if I have to book travel or something like that, I'll book business class with rewards. And I might have to spend a little bit of cash usually to get it. Um, and I'll definitely book my hotels with rewards. Um, and then every quarter, I sign up for new cards. And those new cards are going to give me bonuses usually. And, uh, yeah, that's how that works. If you're interested in doing uh, travel hacking, I highly recommend a guy named Trevor Wright at milemethod.com. Um, if you want the referral, it's ecommerceparadise.com slash mile method. And basically you just send him the information, tell him that Trevor at ecommerce paradise sent you and he'll give me a referral bonus at no extra charge to you and he'll treat you even better. So yeah, he does a really good job of basically getting you tons of miles and points for almost free, um, just with signing up for credit cards. So if you have an online business and you have good credit, it's a great program. You can, oh, here, check it out. See, I did an interview with him. He posted it on his website. So you can watch that. It's a really cool interview. Uh, it talks about his story and his services and how he offers that. So check that out. And yeah, it's a great guy. So definitely sign up for that if you're interested. Let's see what's next. Um, this one's cool. So let's say milemethod.com is one of my competitors, for instance. <laughs> like I was going to start a travel hacking website doing the same thing he did. And I wanted to hack his funnel. This is what I use it for. It's called screen capture, full page screen capture. And what it'll do is it'll capture the entire screen image in one or multiple uh, images. So it'll brow it'll scroll down through the entire image of this website without me having to do anything. And it will provide me with a download of an image of his entire sales page. So now I can look at that image and take a look at his sales page. So I do this with any funnel I'm gonna hack is, you know, just basically download an image of it and then I can kind of you know model after it, that kind of a thing. Um, it's great for any websites where you have like FAQs and stuff like that you want to extract on your website. So this is great for pretty much anything. Um, full page screen capture, it's awesome. This next one is one of the most important ones I use on a daily basis without knowing it. It's called Adblock. Um, <laughs> I've already blocked 115,260 ads um, and it's just it's really key because like Certain things, uh, for instance, this MP4 website that I use, onlinevideoconverter.com, is really bad for doing like really spammy pop-ups. I'll try to give you an example right now. Um, I think it'll even just load and tell me, hey, you've got an ad blocker, because it'll try to basically throw a pop-up at me right now. And that's not going to, yeah, see, and sorry for the interruption, we detected the use of an ad blocker. It's blocking our conversion service. So they use some sort of a conversion service, and look, they're trying to throw pop-ups at me. They probably just downloaded some cookie on my computer, I don't even know. It's fucked up. So if you guys know about a better MP4 converter that doesn't throw cookies at you constantly, then yeah. But it just blocks six on this page. Crazy, right? So ad blocker is great. Um, saves your computer from a lot of BS and viruses, probably. All right, next one is I don't use this too much, but um, it's really useful for some things. It's called Boomerang, and um, I don't want to open my Gmail inbox actually. <laughs> uh, that's private. But yeah, so Boomerang is really cool. Um, it's used for basically notifying you when an email has not been opened. It shoots it back to you and says, hey, would you like to follow up on this? Um, it's really useful. Like you're trying to contact new suppliers to get dropship accounts, that kind of thing. It'll shoot you back and be like, yo, that supplier didn't talk to you in like two days. You might want to uh, hit them back. And then you'll be like, all right, cool, let me do that. So Boomerang's awesome. Send that, sign up for Gmail. It's free to sign up. All right, Momentum is just basically a homepage for your um, for your internet browser that gives you a nice little picture and that's about it. <laughs> so whatever, momentum school. Everybody's got it, right? If you're an entrepreneur, you got it. This is one of the most important ones. Uh, Newsfeed Eradicator for Facebook. I'll give you guys a picture of what that looks like. It's super useful. Um, normally you have a big uh, newsfeed and you scroll through it endlessly, but instead, if you use this app, which is now enabled, right, because it turned blue, this is what happens. Your newsfeed disappears, and all you have is a quote about, like, don't procrastinate, you know? And I can take that and share it with my friends, <laughs> which I do this all the time. And that's it. So um, that saved me, like, tons of time in just 
randomly browsing Facebook for no reason at all. So I'm much more productive that way. Uh, let's see here. This next one is called Word Counter Plus. So if you're on a website and you want to find out how many words they have on it, it's really useful. Um, let's just go to like, uh, I go to this website a lot for niche research and it's easy. So if I want to go to this ultimate guide for finding your profitable niche and I want to know like how many words they have, I can just kind of copy all and right click and go to Word Counter Plus. It'll tell me this article is approximately 3,287 words long. So now I know. Okay, well, if I want to make a competing article, that's how many words it's got to be. So that's pretty cool. All right, this one is for a service called LastPass. LastPass is really neat because it saves all your passwords for your like, banking logins and for your course logins and for your social media, email, all that stuff. It's all saved within one platform. And it's totally secure. So instead of keeping all your data in spreadsheets and constantly having to refer back to them, use LastPass. It's really cool. It's easy. I believe I have a referral code, ecommerceparadise.com slash lastpass. Uh, link is in the description below. All right. Uh, Facebook screen sharing. This is actually for an uh, app that I use for live videos, and I haven't really used it a whole lot yet, so I can't recommend that one yet. Uh, Calendly is cool. Calendly is the calendar app that I use for um, scheduling stuff for uh, clients. I'm not even logged in right now because I don't use this. Chrome extension a whole lot, but it is useful because it pops up in the window. You can easily make <clears throat> an appointment whenever you want to from whatever web page you're already on, so it's really easy. I don't even know what this one is. Shopify theme detector. Oh, cool. So let's say you're on a Shopify store like e-commerce paradise we now know is based on Shopify. Um, let's see if it works. I'm not sure. Let's find out. Uh, searching for the Shopify theme. Uh, Shoptimize theme. Oh, so basically what it does is it takes a title of the theme uh, from the theme.liquid file, probably. So now you know it's based on the Shoptimize theme, which is the same theme that I actually recommend here. Um, if you go to software reviews, Shoptimize theme review, it's the number one theme I use for all my stores, including 